Hey guys, just real quick before we start this video, I do apologize. My mic was messing up. I broke my mic. I didn't realize it for a couple of videos. So bear with me for these next couple of videos. The audio is going to be pieced together. I'm going to do my best. So sorry about that, guys. I have new mics on the way. We'll be here tomorrow. So just bear with me for these next couple of videos. Thank you very much. Also, guys, one last thing. Just be very, very careful this harvest season. The reason why we have this kind of cobbled up second ladder is because uh, how we used to get up here is we used to have to skimmy this grain pump to climb this wet bin well my uncle actually fell off and broke his arm doing that a couple years ago so bottom line is guys make sure you're prepared for harvest and if you guys do have to take shortcuts be very careful when you're doing it everyone wants to come home safe to their family so just be be careful this year guys well guys good morning good afternoon and good evening to all welcome to hearts and family farms and today it's cold as you can kind of see right now i'm in my car hearts yesterday there the two videos ago uh it was almost almost too hot to be wearing a sweatshirt like it was a couple times where i was sweating during the day but today drastically different it's like 20 to 30 degrees colder right now it's like a high of 45 today i think right now it's like 40 Went a little bit, it's cloudy, it's miserable. So we'll go, Pat's working on the cornhead right now. Pat and Brian chopped a couple loads this morning for feed. So I'm gonna go there, help him with the cornhead and hopefully we're gonna shell some corn this afternoon. All right, so for the last half hour or so, what we were doing is changing the outside two rows of gathering chains and we changed this one sprocket. The sprocket bearing was out, but we changed the gathering chains on the outside two rows, mainly because A, we just wanted to last to today because we're supposed to get six inches, three to six inches of snow. So we want to get as much done today. We have a number that's going of corn that's going down. Hopefully going to combine off 40 acres today is what we're kind of hoping for. So we'll see if fill the wet bin and maybe just fill some trucks with stuff. So that's what we're going to do, but time to, it's now time to go up and eat. Let's go. We're going to start corn harvest 2019. So Pat's just going to fold up the combine. I'm going to grab a hat and go fill them up with fuel. For those of you guys who don't know, this hat's all full of graphite because I didn't have a bucket and I had to scoop out the planter. So I just ended up using my hat and it's uh, terrible. And I need to get a new deer hat. Alrighty, so I forgot the camera, but I just got the uh, Bitburn radio set up. Got it turned on. Got the field view iPad in there. Field view is working. We should be ready to roll. Uh, hats off the races. Now let's get Brian all situated with the radio. It shouldn't be that hard. I'll just tell him to plug it in and turn it on. And then I'm going to go take a full of back, see how the, if the beans are going to have any chance today. And then I'm going to go get the truck ready. There's the 1082 grain cart, the Stagger 400. All right, Brian's off the races. I'm going to get the four wheeler, air the up, aired up a tire, air up that back. Front right, left tire, and head out back. All right, so I'm gonna head out back. Ryan, the 400, the radio is a little bit staticky. I think it's because I put the, the antenna right next to the GPS receiver. So we'll go try it and see if that does anything. So I'm heading out back to go check on the beans. Pat's cutting in right now. Looks like it's going all right, as far as I can tell. Brian, head back. The beans I'm gonna check is kind of back, straight back here a little ways. All right, I just bit one bean real close to the outside. It was very moist, still no pop with beans. It's probably about 16% with beans. You wanna hear a, have a little bit of a bite to them, a little bit of a pop. That's how you know they're uh, dry and these are not. These are probably, I don't know, 16%-ish. So beans aren't gonna go today, Rocker. Beans might not go for a while. What we might actually end up doing is dumping all of our wet beans in a pile and running them through the dryer later in the year or this winter. So we'll see, but for right now, patch combining. I'm gonna go get the red semi, pull it out of here and get ready to dump. I can definitely tell where he's at because uh, there's black smoke just chugging up along there. I never noticed that last year. I really hope that's not a sign that our engine's going bad. Because uh, it's never been chooching out this much black smoke. And by the way, this is the field that we chopped. These 25 acres plus two more filled up our bunk. Thank you, Midland, for the radios. Really, really nice. We can actually talk to each other in the field now and not have to worry about gargling noises. There he is, he didn't make it, even make it a full round. Our pile is definitely to the, to 
And his camera's looking on the showing up on the right side, but still it should be better than that. I'm gonna walk out there going. Look at this amazing weed control. There's like no weeds. That's what I like to see. Wagon, go get the gravity wagon. Then we're gonna drop that out there, walk back to the four wheeler, and then we'll get the semi. Guys, it's a beautiful day. Just look how beautiful it is. Sun is shining. It's like 80 degrees out. What perfect harvest weather. That was sarcasm in case you didn't notice. Hello, beautiful. Good morning. How are you doing? Good, good, good. Well, didn't really expect that to happen. That wagon used to be right up there. But now it's back there. All right, let's go hook onto that wagon. Going over to get the wagon real quick because Brian's already full. So I gotta hurry. I already got on the wagon. I'll come and grab that next. Just depending on how long they'll be waiting for me. Alright, there's Brian. He's gonna dump a load on me. I'm gonna walk over and grab the truck. Because I got a little bit of time. I'm gonna walk over, grab the truck, set that out, out back, and then head back. Alright, guys, so the corn's really not doing too bad. It's uh, actually doing pretty well. It's averaging about 270 right now, which is a lot better than what we were anticipating. A lot better. So we'll actually see what it ends up being when the field's done, but. I got the wagon sitting out over there. It's probably just about full. I'm gonna walk over, grab the, the semi, bring that over there. So Brian's got a little, I got a little bit of a buffer. So Brian's ever waiting on me, and then I'm gonna actually start dumping, bring a load of town to get the test weight, and play catch up the rest of the day. Maybe get some going for the shoot. And as always, saying hi to the cows. First load, Brian filled this up. He's probably already filled my semi up, so I gotta turn the white light on. Turn the drive over on. Start dumping. I'm a little bit off center, as you can tell. So I'll move forward. Good enough. Remember, it's a tractor lease, so uh, save hours. I'll start dumping. Done. Let's get this shinding on the road. We're shooting along now. So the hopper we got right there, the hopper bottom, it's actually a commodity trailer, so it's actually pretty tall. So uh, fully loaded, I can hold a lot of weight. So that's why Brian, Brian dumped in me and it's uh, already very, very full. 
It's not, I mean, it's not full, I should say, but it's got a lot of weight on it. Bad thing about having good communication, stuff always tough when you are, when you are mid-vlogging. I guess that's about 800 bushel right in there. You fill the front hopper full, and the back hopper's got probably 200 bushel in it. 12 row head seems to be running fine so far. Now I jinxed it. So we are unsure of what the moisture looks like, so I'm gonna grab a bucket, probably in the 340, which I forgot. Grab a sample and run it up to town, see what it looks like. All right, got my shmample. Now heading up town to the elevator. Let them test it out. 23 on the moisture. 57 on the test weight. Both not bad. Wish it was a little bit higher test weight, but I guarantee it's not gonna be the lowest we're gonna have this year. And 23 in the moisture isn't bad. That's about as dry as that field's gonna get, or probably a lot of fields around here. So yep, that's, that's not good. Thank you, three broke another sprocket. So let's put the waiting game, but for now I'm gonna go dump that truck. First loaded semi of the year on the move. something with one hand is hard you two yeah uh. uh. yep can't do it but anyway about to dump the first truckload of wet corn of the year Woo! 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 sweet now play the waiting game so i'm gonna go grab a chair and grab my computer and start editing first truckload of the year done a lot more to go but Brian's already got the cart full, the wagon full, so I need to get moving. Even though my haul is only about a quarter mile, this is still fun. Cannot wait for full harvest weekend with two combines. We'll be doing about, I don't know, goal 5,000 bushels an hour. Some of this good, good corn, so who knows? Wow, Brian's already almost, almost full. Also, that corn right there, is very, or that hillside right there is very steep. Very, very, very steep. Oh, just kidding. I thought Brian had this wagon full, but uh, it's not. Whoops. Well, I rushed out here for nothing. I could have kept editing. Yeah. Oh, well, Brian's just going to get filled up and then dump on this thing and fill it up. There goes Brian. All right, to dump in the corn. No, he's not dumping in the corn. He's gonna dump in the wagon. So. what you call multitasking. I'm watching the corn flow and I'm editing videos. Oh, well, he's cutting back this way. I thought he was gonna, I saw him open up those end rows way back there. I thought he was gonna open those up, but I guess not. So I guess he's cutting this open, but man, I don't know if you guys can see, just kind of see the hint of his black smoke, but oof, thanks chug a lugging her out. Oof, that, that's bouncing. Combining corn 12 rows at a time is very, very, very nice. He just got loaded up. Here's some drone footage with me voicing. What is voicing? I'm not sure. Alrighty, here we go. I am in Vincennes, Indiana right now on a work trip sitting in my Ho Holiday Inn Hotel recording this. So, hope you guys enjoy it. But right now, back in where you guys are watching, it is the 28th of October and we are harvesting our first corn of 2019. So, I got the drone up in the air. You kind of actually just saw me. I was sitting in the truck there. Look at that thing just blow some black smoke. Ooh, I love it. So we actually got our 7088 combine 12 row corn head folding corn and Gary Goff out and we are harvesting some corn. So we're picking this number even though, excuse me, it is pretty wet right now. We're picking it because this number was, it, it was yielding well, but the problem was on some of the hillsides and a lot of the spots, it was actually going down pretty early. Like it's it's early for corn to be going down this quickly. So we wanted to really just pick it out, even though it was 28%, 29%. 
there was other corn that was like 21, 23 we could have picked, but we decided to pick this just because it was getting too dang wet. It, or it's like, this always happens when I'm talking to you guys. Gosh darn it. I need to stop talk, doing this at like 11 o'clock at night. But anyway, um, we didn't want any more of this corn to go down even more. You can kind of see this a really good view between the left and the right. The right is was a lot greener when it froze and died. The left was pretty much already through the end of its cycle. That's, that's a really cool shot there. So anyway, a little bit more about this. So we're running our 7088 combine, folding 12-row Gehringhoff, the 400 Steiger, and Brent 1082. Right there, you can actually kind of see that little green spot. It's the well. It's a well that we have. I don't know if there was an old house that used to be up there or whatnot, but there's power that went up there, and there's an old well. So I'm not sure what's up there. I really should ask my dad or my uncle or my grandpa. Sorry, my uncle or my grandma about that. But you can kind of see we're on a pretty big hillside. You can see a leg in the background there. Um, we're harvesting this. Usually, usually we like to chop this for Euler just because it's so close. That's why I'm kind of surprised we didn't. But I think Pat just really wanted to get – he was antsy to get combining – and he really wanted to get this number knocked out before it all went down. So at this point, guys, with this being the first corn that we've taken out, we've harvested approximately 3% of our grain this fall. Woo. We have a long ways to go. But one day at a time, that's all we can do. So we're uh, picking along right now, going down the hill. I am sitting in the semi as I'm flying this. I love this shot. So the drone flies straight. It doesn't it doesn't follow the ground at all. So like if I'm five feet above the ground going downhill, if I pull the drone backwards, it stays um, at the same level. It doesn't stay five feet from the ground. So that was a really cool shot. But anyway, with this, one thing I really am kind of kicking ourselves, and I'm sure Pat is too, that we didn't do is we didn't put grain tank extensions on the 70. What we wanted to do is just basically put a tarp on the outside just to give it an extra, I don't know, 60 bushel or so. Mainly just because we're 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 with good a corn twelve row twelve row combine. I mean we're going through corn like it's nothing. Like seriously, like, we are able to fill up in about three to five minutes or so. Like it's it's impressive. Maybe not quite that much. Maybe eight minutes or so. But it's impressive how quickly we can fill this up. I mean our grain tank only holds three hundred stock. I want to say two eighty. 310, 320, somewhere around there. So it's not that big. Hey, look at that. It's a clean cab. We have zero cab corner beans so far. Hey, how about that? But it's a really, uh, it's a really, so um, really wish we can could have put that those extensions on. Really cool upshot of the of the farm there. Kind of dropping in on the on the combine and grain cart. There's strat Brian and Pat are strategizing right now. I really thought this would be kind of cool flying down the gauntlet, but. So this actually worked out pretty well. Um, the issue, guys, is we're, we probably aren't going to see two combines running a lot this year, mainly because um, we just don't have the manpower. I mean, those two right there that you see on the screen, the combine and grain cart, Pat and Brian, they're our only full-time guys we have on the farm, just those two. Everyone else is part-time help. So if we really want to want run oh, two combines, two carts, and two trucks minimum, we need, we need six people, obviously. So that only happen on the weekends, if we're lucky, because Curtis and Nathan will be back most weekends, and I'll be around a lot probably when I'm done traveling, hopefully soon. Uh, my Uncle Bun will be around quite a bit this fall. My dad will be around quite a bit. Um, Pat's father-in-law, Cletus, will be down quite a bit. So we'll, we'll make do. But anyway, this is the last, last drone shot. Back to the good video. And there's Pat coming down the hill, just about full again. It's pretty hard to see him right now, but they're going up the hill. I'm loading on the go. Woo! Second semi load, so I've gotten about 1,000, 1,200, 600, 600, 35-ish, 100 bushels dump. So now I'm gonna climb up and see how much is in here. What about at the wrinkle? And it's coned up, so I'd say we're about halfway. And that's about right, because we got about 5,500 bushels in here right now. Remember, because I dumped 2,000 bushels of dry corn. You guys are probably also wondering, why isn't our dryer running right now? Well, we got to have our bin guy come over and uh, service it this year. He still hasn't came here. We've been calling him for the last couple weeks. So we're hoping with the full wet bin, we can maybe motivate him a little bit more. So I'm dumping my third truck here. And just as I say it, our dryer guy's here. 
working on a dryer. He already fired up both burners. He's just greasing all the bearings, and I think he's gonna fire it up here soon. It should be good. All done with this load. My grandma's off to the market. Out of the market, the grocery store to go get some milk. We need some milk. I'm gonna go back and probably wait for another 15 minutes because I believe he's just opened up the last field he wants to open up, and then he's just gonna run. Who knows? Might be able to get your dryer going tonight, but I doubt it because we stole a bunch of pipes and stuff that we're missing. So that's probably gonna be a rainy day thing, but we'll see. Well, while I'm still waiting, he's still chooching along. I don't know, we've harvested about 4,000 bushels so far. Excuse me. I'm still editing right now. It's actually giving me some time to catch up on editing. There's my dad. <laughs> All right, heading back for another load. I don't know how much longer we're gonna keep going. It got dark pretty quickly. But we still got probably room for 3,000 bushel more in the bin, so. Here comes Brian. Those nice LEDs up top. He's gonna whip around. I think I see Pat coming at me in the mirror. Oh no, he just switched fields. I don't know, I'm not sure exactly what field they're doing. I think they're just jumping between a bunch of fields, opening them up but uh, i'm not even sure so brian's gonna dump on me i this is for sure i'm for sure gonna dump this load i haven't decided if i'm gonna stick around for one more load or not what's nice about these brent cards even though only this spout moves this way you can always get a dead center if you want to all right guys i'm gonna run up and try and catch pat and ride with him for a round and then hop out and continue editing videos because i'm editing brian's video right now Alright, he just rode with Pat. He's right there. Ryan's loading me up. This is my final load for the night. I'm gonna dump this. It's gonna be a full truck. I'm gonna dump it. Come back here, and then they got the wagon and the truck that I'm in right now, plus the grain cart. They got 2,600 bushels of storage. More than that, even close to 3,000 if they want it. So they'll be fine for the rest of the night. Alrighty, it's my last load dumping right now. I'm gonna go in and grab something to eat from Grandma. Man, I'm looking forward to these. I've had hamburgers every single field dinner or field night that I've ever had except for maybe a handful less than five and I'm still not sick of them they are phenomenal well when I browned the chicken today I didn't know you delicious did. as usual right kitty right kitty right kitty all right time to go finish dumping this truck all right guys it's my last little of the night so I'm gonna close her out thank you guys so much for watching if you guys did like enjoy this video be sure to like comment and subscribe Follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Hearts and Family Farms. And of course, guys, as always, it's a tall, a banal.